hello there this video i'm gonna show you how you can easily combine multiple excel sheets into one using your path so first thing i'm gonna create a new process in your path I'll create a new sequence and then in the sequence I'll start with the first process using Excel application scope to extract the Excel file that I just showed you. Once we get the Excel file, I'll use the activity called get workbook sheets to get multiple sheets from the Excel file and then I'll name this output as list of Excel or list of I'll, I'll name it list of sheets and yeah I see an error because I haven't created it as a variable gonna use control K to set it as a variable and then you can see it's automatically created as a list of string okay next we're gonna I'm gonna create a new another activity is called read range it's to read all the data from each sheet so I'm gonna rename it as read sheet so for me to read each sheet I need to create a for each loop to look through each each sheet in the SL file so for each sheet of uh in list of list of sheet i'll read each of the i'll read the data in each of each each sheet and then i'll read it into a temporary table which i'll name it dt temp so in the output data table, I'll create dttem as a new variable. I can see this uh, error. This is because we haven't changed the argument into string. And then next, I'll add another activity. I'll add another if activity. So the data, the data I read into a temporary data table. I want to create a new, I want to create a main data table to store this data in this temporary data table. So I'll create a if a condition to initialize the main data table by cloning the temporary data table if, if the main data table is empty. So I'll and then 
condition if dt main which is the new data table and then if is m nothing if if if, if the main data table is null then You see this error because we create a type boolean which is which is wrong. We should change it to uh, data table type instead of boolean. So if we click on variables, we we'll change the variable type to into data table. Then we'll create a assign activity to assign um, DT main using DT temp dot clone. So clone the temporary data table into DT main if it is it is null. So, and if if it's not null, we want to merge the temporary data table into the main data table. So we use the merge data table activity. So destination will be DT main. And the source will be DT temp. When it is merged, then we'll clear the temporary data table. So use the clear data table activity to clear out the DT tem. So the inputs will be the inputs of the data table will be DT tem. So basically that's the main workflow. The main workflow has basically been done. The next last thing is to write them, to write this data table, the main data table into a new output file. I'm going to create a new output file. Then I'll select this new empty output file and then use the write range activities to write the main data table into this new Excel file.
just make sure to set the scopes into sequences the yeah the parent scope so it is available once it is run let's see the all the data are populated in one one sheet and yeah here we can add the header because add, you can see the header the headers are missing so we can add the header just by changing the options to add the header so we can set we can tick add headers in the options so the new file generator will include the header of of the data so that's it you, this workflow you can run every time you need to combine multiple excel sheets it's a good way to automate this repetitive task it will save you a lot of time if you need to combine multiple sheets before you can run any data processing or analysis so this is gonna save you a lot of time all you need to do is just create once and run multiple time whenever you receive an excel file with multiple sheets you need to combine so this is the end of the video thank you for watching